What's up everyone? Today we're gonna go on another hike and we're gonna go up Green Mountain today. It's another trail in Boulder. Um, elevation's around like 8,100 feet, I believe. So that's gonna be fun. It's packing everything up and I'm gonna be on the road. First, I have to stop by Chase Bank. I need to get a direct deposit form. I got a job yesterday, so I need to get everything. Just gotta make sure everything's in order so I'll be on the payroll. I'm looking forward to working to start Monday, so. Let's uh, spin over to Chase. All right, I went to the bank and I got my direct deposit slip for work. Now I'm gonna drive up to Boulder to the trailhead. So it should take about 20 minutes to get there and I'll catch in with you guys there. All right, I made it to the park. That was pretty much the trailhead. On my way there now, got some drone footage when I parked of the flat irons of Green Mountain. It's pretty cool. Hopefully the footage came out all right. A little bit of overcast day, so it's gonna be not too warm, which is great. I won't sweat too bad. Making my way to the trailhead. There's no parking, like always, so I had to park down a random street. With this particular trail, it's almost 3,000 feet of elevation gain to the top of Green Mountain. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm still pretty much at the base trail. I'm trying to get to the Gregory Canyon Trail, I believe. Pristine conditions to be hiking in. Everyone's out today with the dogs, having a good time. One thing I love about Colorado, everyone is having a good time and have really awesome adventures. Get the trail out my uh New hiking shoes today. So far, they're perfect. All right. I think I'm trying to go here. Well, looks so like we're going all uphill from here, boys. Oh yeah, trade incline. This is gonna be fun. Like I said, you know how adventurous people from Colorado are. You know, I'm just walking up a trail, having a hard time. You know, there's always different ways of getting up a mountain, right? Well, look at these guys. This is pretty cool. Hello. Hey. Hey. <laughs> look at this guy. He's, he started down here. He's made his way up. Looks like his kids are over here. Coercing him on. That's so cool. I feel like vlogging a hike makes it way harder. I mean, not only do you have your essentials that you need to bring on a hike, no matter what, like food and water, but then you have to carry heavy camera gear. And this makes it that much harder. You don't want this much weight coming up. So far I've seen two people just run, no three people run right by me. Two going down, one going up. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm struggling to get my breath back and they're sitting there running up this thing. Whew. Kind of puts how much shape I am in perspective. Not a cool cave. 
could definitely take shelter under here. It's pretty cool. I made it like halfway up so far. I'm gonna take a little rest, eat a bar. Um, like I said, I'm like halfway up to the summit. And I stopped by, there's like a canyon around here, so I went taking the views for a little bit. You know, it's been it's been a good week. Uh, I had an interview yesterday, and I ended up getting the job, so I'm pretty happy about that. This week's been 420 week, so I got to experience my first legal 420. So, in all, it's been a good week in April. So watching, hope you like what you saw so far. I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. This is uh, definitely the way to the summit. I'll just check the map. I got another 2,000 feet. And uh, yeah, definitely some elevation gain. All right, put away the Sony. It's just easier on me not to carry that big thing. And just use my phone, which takes art quality anyway. So on my way up, I think, I think we're going the right way, we'll find out. I love Colorado, like, this is why. <sighs> it is good to be alive right now. Definitely have to break these shoes in. I'm starting to rub against the back of my, uh, my feet, my Achilles tendon, I'm starting to get kind of raw. I don't want to get blistered. I'm not even to the top yet. So I have to make it back. But other than that, they're comfortable. Definitely need to break them in. I've done a lot of hikes before, but you know, I've never came across this. This is kind of cool. Check this out. To get to the next part, I have to climb up this ladder. This is dope. Made it. Another good stopping point. Another perfect view of Boulder. Started out way down there. Now I'm here. You see the, all the front range. It's kind of cool. It's peaceful up here. Woo! Climb up this rock. Stand up here. Kind of see. I think I'm going up here. I'm almost there. You can kind of see. I mean, it's a camera phone, so, but behind me are the Rockies. You still saw her. I'm not a weatherman. How do you do this? Rockies. <laughs> Check it out, guys. This what when you're in elevation. It doesn't even have to be, you know, below freezing for it to snow up here. If the storm comes in, you're at the elevation, it just starts snowing. I think this is from, I believe the past two days, if I'm not mistaken. It rained in Denver, but you know, it snows in the mountains. So, it's pretty neat. Almost there, got about 40 minutes to go. All right, I made it to the summit trailhead. Um, I think it's like a thousand more feet up to the top. I'm currently at like 7,200 feet, so so this is the last trail to the top of the mountain. Yeah, I think I'm I can make this summit this time too. I'm not winded, I feel great, I'm not even hungry. So oh, I can't wait to get to the top. The views are gonna be amazing, guys. Uh, from the previous snowfall, it's all melting now. The trail's pretty muddy and wet. All the snow's melting from the trees and pretty much raining on me. It's kind of cool. It feels good. It's refreshing. Ice cold water. Whew. I 
climb like I think maybe two or three hundred feet away from the summit. Uh, it's been a good hike so far. Perfect day because it's so cool. Oh, I'm a little out of breath. Again, people will run up this. One person passed me already. It's pretty crazy. All right, hey everyone. I made it to the summit of Green Mountain. I'm looking over Boulder right now. Here it is. Denver's behind this tree. So right here is where I was last week. That is Bear, I think South Boulder Peak and Bear Peak. Straight over there. On the opposite side of it, um, at Green Mountain. Just trying to check off all the Boulder Mountains off my checklist before I venture into the Rockies and try the 14ers and whatnot. It's a little chilly up here, not gonna lie. Hands are cold. I'm about to make the descent pretty soon. It's three o'clock. I made it here around like 2.45, so. Ugh, it's been a perfect day. Yo, guys, check this out. It's like a drone. What is that? Making zero noise. That is so cool. There it goes. So I'm here at the summit of Green Mountain, about to go down. Um, that was a pretty cool airplane that went by. I don't know what that was. It wasn't making any noise, it wasn't motorized, so it was weird. It's really nice up here. A little chilly, not too bad. But, enjoying my Saturday afternoon. I think the next mountain I'm gonna summit is James Peak. Since we say the same name. It's pretty cool, it tells you all the elevations here and the names of the peaks. Of over there. It's pretty neat. back down. Should be a lot easier than on the way up, obviously, but uh, that was a pretty good hike up to the summit of Green Mountain. I actually was able to summit this one, unlike last week. <laughs> so, I'm going to try to safely make my way back down, and I'll catch up with you guys at the trailhead. I ended up taking another route down the mountain, and I currently have no idea where I am. Uh, I looked at that map, and I think this is the right way. Back to my car, but uh, not entirely sure. So I'm just gonna keep walking and hopefully it is. Pretty high up right now. So I hiked all the way up to there. I think I'm like halfway down. Check out this view. Look at it, guys. And I'm uh, pretty high up. Um, that's uh, I would die. I think I got maybe another hour of walking till I get back to the, the car. I can see the trailhead from here, so I'm not that far. So. All right, made it back down to the trailhead. Uh, my car is like somewhere over here. So, it's been a great day. I think I'm gonna get back to the car and I'll fly the drone up just a little bit. See if I can get some footage of the mountains behind me. Um, other than that, I'll catch and shoot with you guys when I get to my car.
kind of funny. So I'm trying to land my drone, as you can see right now, and then it's like, oh, I'm going to go into go home mode. Starts, you know, elevating, and then almost hits this light pole, and then it starts going to where I took it off, which is, you know, right there next to my car. And I'm like, oh my god. So it's slowly starting to come down, and I realize that it's going to land on an incline, so there's no way it's going to land flat. So then this is where I grab it right here. And I'm like, oh shit, trying to turn it off with my remote. See how that went? Still going, still going. These girls see me, I'm like, oh god, I feel pretty embarrassed. But they were like, hey, nice catch. Alright, I made it back to my car, the hike went well, flew the drone, and I won't lie, I was very, very nervous when it decided to go into go home mode. I was like, oh god. Because I thought, oh my god, there's cars here, it's going to land on top of a car, I don't even know. But, we're here at the Equinox, still in Boulder, Colorado. It's about that time to uh, get on the road and car while doing it. In the car. So I'm going to end the vlog there. I'm just going to drive home and eat some food. That's pretty much the rest of my day. What a successful hike guys. Beautiful day in Colorado. I mean no problems going up and down the mountain. So I'm definitely getting more uh, acclimated to the elevation. So, if you liked what you saw today, just make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe. There will be more in the future. Peace, guys.